Hello, my name's Robert Dean Steele, and I am praying through the Psalms, and today we're looking at Psalm chapter 14. Listen to what David says here. He says, the fool says in his heart, there is no God. They are vile, and their deeds are corrupt, and there's no one who does good. So basically, he says, if there's an individual who goes around and says, there is no God, then of course, they're being a fool. Secondly, he says, their nature is corrupt, their deeds are vile, and no one does good among them. Why? Because the standard is themselves, and pride and arrogance is the fashion of their lives. The Lord looks, looks down from heaven on the sons of man to see if there are anyone who understands or any who seek the Lord. So the Lord is looking around for people who will actually seek him. He will work on their hearts through the power of the Holy Spirit. All have turned aside and together have become corrupt. There is no one who does good, not even one. Now, it's interesting that this was also part of something that Paul would bring out in the book of Romans. He says, will evildoers ever learn that those who devour my people as men eat bread and who do not call on the Lord? He says, listen, they think that they're going to get away with something, but they're not. They are overwhelmed with dread for God is present in the company of the righteous. He basically says, when you choose to do right, you have divine assistance, divine intervention, divine protection, and divine help. When we feel overwhelmed with the dread of what's going on around us, there's one thing that we do have, the word of God, the love of God, and the consistency of God's character. He says, you evildoers, you frustrate the plans of the poor, but the Lord is their refuge. He says, you may try to oppress the poor. You may try to take advantage of the vulnerable, but understand this, the Lord is the one who stands with them and is their defender. And he goes on to say this, the, oh, that salvation of, for Israel would come out of Zion. When the Lord restores the fortunes of his people, let Jacob rejoice and let Israel be glad. David was looking at how society can become. But then he, he remembers, he says, listen, salvation is going to come from the Lord and it's going to come to God's people. And the fortunes of his people are going to rejoice, uh, be restored, and they're going to rejoice. And it's the, the outgrowth of the Lord restoring the Lord's salvation is, of course, rejoicing and gladness, which is, of course, a product of a heart that is filled with the Lord. I love what Isaiah says. He says, therefore, with joy shall ye draw waters from the wells of salvation, and in that day shall ye say, praise the Lord. Well, it's because we put our spiritual pipe in the Lord. And all the things that are happening around us, they're not going to persuade us or dissuade us from serving the Lord. That is a consistency in our lives. And he is a shelter and a refuge for those who put their trust in him. A little thought for you today. As we pray through the Psalms, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and thank you for joining me as we pray through the Psalm. That was Psalm 14.